Welcome back to Wicked F-150. So, finally in the mail, I received Boost Auto Parts mirrors. They are finally available. Um, you can go on to their site, BoostAutoParts.com, and now purchase these. They are for 2007 and up F-150s and 2003 and up Super Duties. Um, so, they... This is a brand new mirror for F1 or for Ford, but they have been uh, in, a, in business, uh, been a company for years. Uh, they started out with uh, GM, and you know now they have products for all the trucks. So you can get online again their website and check them out. They have all kinds of different things for the Fords. Uh, so far, it's uh, all mirrors and stuff like that. But I cannot wait to get these on. So let's go over the options first. Like I said, from 2007 and up on the 150 and 2003 and up on the Super Duties. And so the two mirrors, 8 pin, 22 pin, doesn't matter what mirrors you have, you can get these mirrors. Um, now you can get the top cap, uh, you can get it black, you can get it chrome, or you can get it primed. So you can get it painted to match your truck then. Um, I did just get the black ones. Uh, may down the road get the paintable ones, which you can also do later. They also sell the caps separate. So if you change your mind down the road, you can get those then. And uh, I believe those are like $45 uh, for the caps. So you definitely can't beat that. Um, but uh, the caps, what else? Uh, the lenses. So, on these wonderful, you know, crap mirrors. So, the lens, you can get it clear like this, or you can get it smoked. Um, you can have just the signal for the lights here. You can have it uh, signal and running light, amber. Or you can have a switchback to where your running lights are white, and then turn signals four ways and all that, then turn to amber. Which, of course, is what I got. Um... But then puddle light, if you have eight pin mirrors and you do not have the puddle light, you can add that. Uh, that is a little bit more wiring. They have a video on it. I will include that video in the description in case, you know, that is something you want to do. Uh, it is a little more intensive adding the puddle light since, of course, you don't have it with your uh factory setup, uh, your regular small mirrors. You do have to go into the door panel, but it's two uh, trim pieces that you remove on here. And it's not unlocked. Let's go ahead and unlock it. So you end up just removing this, this panel back here. Uh, two, four, I think that's it. Uh, there's a couple seven millimeter bolts you have to remove to pull this trim off. And you just run one wire through and uh, put it into your harness here. Uh, it's pin, pinned and everything for you. You just run it through your door, put it in the factory harness, plug it into the factory connector, and it will give you your puddle light underneath if that is something you want to do. So uh, there are options, uh, different variations for the caps that you can get. Let's go ahead and open the box. Uh, now, of course, I already had to open it just to get this, just to take a look. I was too excited, but I didn't take anything out. Uh, so the foam on the top, it looks like the bolts, new ones there, and nuts to go in the mirrors. Uh, covered here. Let's go ahead and pull this up out of the foam and take this off. And yeah, I cut that. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> So, and there you go. So there's the smoked lens. I, like I said, I did get the switchback one. But these are the mirrors. And man, they, <laughs> they are a lot heavier than the Scipio mirrors. I could tell you that right now. A lot heavier. Um, whew, they, they definitely are uh, a lot heavier. But just from looking at them, because uh, you, you can't tell how heavy they are, uh, the plastic is definitely you can tell it's thicker uh it's more durable feeling the glass itself is looks a lot better uh that's f for damn sure um it doesn't look as cheaply made 
it, it really doesn't. It has a higher end appearance to it. Let's let's see here. The different. Oh, of course, the wrong side, but okay. So you can see the difference here. Um, now with Scipio did replace the top glass there. It's now distorted like a funhouse mirror. So yeah, <laughs> I would not. I cannot recommend Scipio mirrors because of that. Uh, I think it's a design flaw. You can't remove the bottom glass without having to break it. Um, because Boost Auto Parts, of course, if you already have two mirrors and you want them switch back, you can buy this lens separately. And if you have Scipio toe mirrors, you're going to have to shatter your bottom glass to be able to do that. That is a design flaw in my opinion. And... You know, they say, or the, the gentleman that I dealt with through them said that, you know, just talk to them and, you know, they'll replace stuff through their warranty period, which I believe is a year, I think. But the replacement glass upper that they sent me, like I said, distorted like a funhouse mirror, not okay. Bottom glass, they literally just sent the glass instead of the plastic frame that it's the glass is screwed onto. So, yeah, I, I can't recommend them. But let's go ahead and get these installed. It should be super simple and just a uh, unbolt. There's, of course, the two nuts uh, there. And then you'll have these two bolts here. So that should be it because I have 22 pin, I got 22 pin mirrors. So I don't have to plug in an extra harness, which if you have eight pin, then you will have a harness that of course will come with your mirrors. But let's go ahead and get these installed. Okay, for these, uh, studs that you get that's for this set of holes uh to go back into your door take them like this and just screw them in okay it is that simple just get them in there tight as you can and then you're going to put the nut on them anyway but let's do that to the passenger side as well and get them on all right so of course i find it uh easier to put the windows down that way you can reach through and you know catch the mirror but a uh, plastic trim piece what I mean on the rubber side you could probably use a screwdriver if you want just to pull this plastic cap off uh, as you can see you can just get it with your fingers as well no problem okay and then you have your wiring harness unplug it <laughs> okay so there we go shove that back in the mirror but that's your factory wiring. Move that out of the way. So these are the bolts. Uh, you, you have to remove these two nuts, these two bolts out of the mirror itself. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. They should be a size 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, all right, size 10. So let's go ahead and remove them. I have to put the phone down. Can't record that. I have to be able to catch the mirror just in case. So let me take that out. And just like that, the mirror's back on. So this is literally a 10 to 15 minute job. Uh, if that, so <laughs> you, of course, undo what I told you, two nuts, two bolts, pull the mirror off. Like it's just, that's it. That's all that's holding this mirror on. Uh, and then you of course line this one back up, put it through the hole and put the new nuts on all four posts and definitely put them on by hand. You don't want to get them cross-threaded trying to just drill them on immediately you know so just use your hand get it snug so it holds the mirror on and then just tighten them up let's here and done mirrors on Plugged in, tight, shove your little clip, wiring clip back on the stud there, and you're good. All right, now, before I do the other one, let's of course test them out and make sure it works. So, there's Bliss, it just came on. Man, that looks good. I really like them smoke lenses. Let's turn some lights on.
Man, that looks good. Ooh. Let's get the other one in. Okay, so, mistake on my part. These, do not put them in. Do not put them in your mirror. Uh, I'm not sure if they're just backups for these or what these are supposed to be for, but do not put them in the holes in your mirrors. Do not. Let's take a look at this. So that's what I got from having these in because they're too long uh, for when you screw them in the mirror. They're too long. So the top one did that to the truck. So put in your factory bolts <laughs> uh, and there you go. But just wanted to point that out for anybody else. Learn from my mistakes. That is what these videos are for. <laughs> and done. Man, that looks good. Tell me that doesn't look good. I mean, come on. You know you want these mirrors. And like I said, uh, 2007 and up, same type of mirror. So uh, this, of course, they're different mirrors, but it's the same you know, style and all of that. For uh, going back that far uh, in generations for the F-150 or like I said, 2003 for the Super Duties. But let's go ahead, you see the white. Let's go ahead and turn on a turn signal here. And there's a turn signal. Man, those mirrors are nice, especially with them smoked lenses. Can't wait to take a drive, get all the foam off. <laughs> but man, they look nice, don't they? I can't, cannot wait. And of course, white again. So like I said, boostautoparts.com. Uh, get yourself a set. Um, to me, by far, these are the absolute best aftermarket mirrors you can get uh, for your truck. I mean, absolutely. The quality is here. I, I mean, I wish you could, there was a way. I mean, I don't have a scale big enough, that's a way. But they, they're heavier, they're, you can tell they're more durable, they're a better quality, and they come straight from here, United States. Uh, I believe it's Illinois that they come from. Uh, Illinois or Indiana? One of the, one of the I states. <laughs> but either one of those, and I'm telling you, it's a couple days and you get your product. You cannot beat this. They are amazing, amazing mirrors. And you get all the options, you know, that you do with a uh, factory set and all of that, uh, except, except the power extend and all of that. You, you don't get the power extend. Um, that, I mean, that sucks. But for an XLT owner or an XL, STX, whatever, even the lower trim lariats that uh, don't come with it, to get your power extend, that's a lot more labor intensive because you have to change out your wiring throughout your entire door to be able to get them to work. So it's not just a harness or a plug and play, or a harness that you can plug and they work just up here or something like that. You have to change out all the wiring here to get it to work. You have to add a bunch of wiring and of course get a new module for the buttons for it as well. So, I mean, that's a lot more intensive, but told you the years, showed you what they look like, showed you how to install them, simply just plug them in, uh, how great they are, how great they look. I mean, nobody can deny that. And where to get them. Get online. Uh, we'll include the link to their website, uh, of course, in the description, as always. And, oh, and the options, I went through that, and the caps. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what you think in the comments. I hope you guys check them out. Get yourself a set. If you already have a set and you're happy with them, then I mean you're happy with them. But you can still get your running light harness, you can still get the switchback lenses, you know, all of that stuff if you don't already have this, have that for your current tow mirror. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think about the new mirrors. And y'all have a great rest of your week, great weekend. And if I don't get one out again, before Christmas, Merry Christmas to everybody, happy holidays, enjoy the time with your family, friends, however you choose to celebrate. Uh, see y'all next time.